Hey everyone, now that the initial shock of the results for some of you has died down, I thought I'd come here to explain to you to help you figure out your next steps forward. Now, this is for those who are thinking about resetting some of their A-levels in this October-November. Before you decide how many subjects to reset and which ones, I think it's best to first ask yourselves what went wrong. Was it the cancellation of some of the components and your average grade from other components? For subjects like chemistry? Was it that exams were cancelled and then you had to reset a component like math and then everything or all your grade was based on one component? And if you are one of those kids, you know, it might help you to reset. You'll also want to ask yourself, were you fully prepared for the exam? It's just the exam, nervousness and shock was the reason why you didn't perform well. Because if that was the case, resets do help. Practice does make better. But if you were a person who treated A-levels just like O-levels, like, you know, I'll study in the last minute and I'll get it done. One of the things you need to understand about A-levels is it requires consistent, long efforts. Even if you think about resets, remember, you got to be putting in five to eight hours of study a day outside of your A-level school study for your second year chemistry or physics or whatever subject that you're studying for. In addition to all of that, you still have to study for your resets. So, you got to ask yourself, can I give the sustained effort for multiple subjects? Because all of that will determine how many subjects you use it for. Also, try to figure out what are the great implications for your university admissions. Many students end up going to business schools or engineering schools in Pakistan where the base requirement is just B's and C's while the admission test for those universities helps you get in. And for those, uh, for those candidates looking to apply to Pakistan universities, it might not necessarily be that you need to get straight A's to get in. You might want to save your time and focus on the admission tests also. But many of you are going to apply abroad. The US, Canada, the UK. Their offers and admissions rely a lot on your first year results. For those kids, I would say resit as many as you can physically do. So that you have a better chance of getting in in these. You get better offers from England or you get admitted to places in the US or Canada. Now, should you decide to reset this November, the number of subjects you reset for depends on how, how your grades were. Many of you might have only had one grade that you want to improve, one subject whose grade you want to improve. Now, that's an easy path. You continue second year studies for all the subjects and give that one particular subject's AS components two extra hours a day. I guarantee you for the next 45 days, you spend two hours a day with a plan that we'll share with you later on that you can ace anything as long as you consistently give it on an average two and a half hours a day. That adds up to a good number of about a hundred plus hours before the exams even start. That's good enough work. Now, some of you might have uh, messed up on two or more papers and you might be thinking, well, how many should I reset? Well. If you go to school and you're studying A-level second year in school, while resetting these papers, I'd recommend not resetting for more than two subjects and not all three. You might want to take the exams again for the third one, but I would suggest you take them as, as a full A-level in the next exam, June 2024. So limit, if you can, your resets to two. Why? Because think about the logistics. You're going to be studying five hours a day to four to five hours a day for these two resets. You have to, if you want to get that A. At the same time, you got to go to school for five, six hours a day. That's going to take up most of your energy. So you're going to have time left for doing a third one. The only time I'd recommend a third reset is if you either don't go to school for A-level second year and you're only doing your A-level first year resets privately. Then makes sense because then now you can dedicate seven to eight hours a day. If that's a schedule you can make, then sure, reset for three. But understand this, to effectively do a reset where you have to study, where if you messed up by not completing the syllabus or understanding anything or your understanding level is, is, is off, you need to give it eight hours a day, seven to eight. This is real. So if you're willing to do that, then take three resets. The other suggestion, which is what works, I really think it really works is you do two resets because you only have 45 days left. So you do two resets 
and the third subject you still felt that you need to help on, I would suggest take its AS components in second year with the full A levels. Break it up. You have plenty of time for June and May. Just reset too. Now that you decided the number of subjects you want to reset for in October, November 2023, let me give you a plan of action. So for each subject you're resetting for, what you want to do is first figure out, did you mess up by not knowing subject material or you just freaked out before the exam? If you freak out more in exams, my suggestion is practice, practice, practice full papers in exam-like conditions at home. Exam-like conditions mean recreating a clean, empty desk, not full of books, timed, nobody disturbing you, room locked, silence, no music. Put yourself in a, out of your comfort zone and just practice more papers. But many of you probably need a reset because your preparation for the exam for that subject wasn't complete. In that regards, let me go back to saying that you need to spend two hours a day studying. Now you might say, well, how do I spend that time? I just start reading from my book. Well, you want to be efficient in how you use your time. So my suggestion is do a diagnostic. Now, if you, somebody can provide you with a two hour diagnostic detailed exam to figure out what went wrong. If you can't, my suggestion is download two variants of every subject you want to sit for their exam papers and attempt two variants. For example, let's take physics, biochemistry, you know, the sciences or even economics accounts. These five have MCQ components for the first year, okay? Since most of you resetting generally reset the AS, what you do is you take the MCQ papers for these, take two variants and solve both of them. Check your work and then tally which chapters are you getting more incorrect answers for. Because those are the chapters you want to hit hard first. Plan your work. You don't have to study every single chapter. You want to make sure you optimize what you study in the, uh, for the two hours a day for 45 days. You focus on the areas you know you're weak. You might know it, but I would suggest always do a diagnostic. For other subjects like business studies or even math, to solve one full paper and then have it checked yourself or, uh, or have somebody else check it for you. But you need that feedback. Now, if you can get your paper back, that would have been great, but it's not, not enough time for that. So what you do is you solve it again, like you would solve the same paper you solved. So you know what went wrong and then attack those subjects. Make a plan, knock off chapters a day. You have 45 days, two hours a day, 45, make a plan. We will give you plans for these subjects also. So look out for our next video that I'll be giving out where I will break down for you if you want to use ORD or our plans to help you knock off those chapters in 45 days. So now once you have this daily schedule mailed, my second suggestion is get a study buddy, get an accountability buddy. It works. You and somebody else will be using the same exam. What you do is you become their accountability buddy and they become yours. You make sure that you are following your schedule. More important than anything else is following that schedule because if you don't, then you're going to be left behind. You gotta catch up too much at the end. Because while all of this is going on, if you are one of those candidates who is resetting AS and still going to school, which is the majority of you, you need to study for your second year stuff happening in school. You can't let that fall too far behind. Yes, I know you could get help from Alt Academy later, and absolutely sure. But you want to now make sure that you don't do badly in those tests when those tests happen for those subjects. So you got to give that some time. You got to also do homework for classes for those subjects while you're studying in school. Obviously, if you're a private candidate with no school, you have less worry. You can focus solely on your AS right now and then do second year stuff later. But most of you will still be in school, those watching this video. For you, please make sure you don't really fall back on your second year stuff too much. There will be some time lost and we can always make that up, but keep it to a minimum. Keep a schedule. Your parents also need to see you do the hard work. So figure out the schedule, make it visible to everybody. Make them an accountability buddies if you have to. Make your friends that and be there for them also. That really, really helps. Now that you have your schedule and accountability buddy, the plan made for you, all you gotta do is attack that plan. You gotta go at it, you got 45 days. It doesn't look much, but I guarantee you, that's about 100 hours for each subject. You give me that, dedicated, full attention, focused, I guarantee you, you're gonna get the grade you, de you desire. You can't not get it. The system isn't that difficult. We know exactly what's required to do to get the grade. You give that, 
the time and learn the material you get it it's just it's all up to you you got to give it that time you can wait for again the last week to start studying again it can work like that you got to prove it to yourself and to others then you can give this consistent effort for the and it's not that long 45 days gone like this and then you got 30 days of exams i get it but really only it's like 45 plus 30 total of 75 and you are redeeming yourself and then you don't even have to wait for the grade people around you will see your attitude change will see the way you work they will see the change and then you set set yourself up for success even in second year now you can do this trust me you can and we'll help you get there now in the next video i'll take you through how you can use alt academy to ace your recess for november in 45 days we have plans ready we have redesigned courses to let you achieve what you need to in 45 days and you'll be ready before october 8th for your exams i'll see you then bye